Hi guys, welcome back to the automation points. So today tutorial uh, agenda is what is the locator, how to inspect element in web, uh, in browsers and different possibility to identify element in Selenium. So let's go with the, what is the locator. So let's see if you want to interact with any wave element, what you do. So first you visually identify that element and then perform some uh, required action. So let's see here it is the email and phone number. Uh, so here I know we know that we can we, we, it is a text field where we can pass our email ID and phone number. And this one is the password text field. So same, the same way our automation uh, script uh, perform these steps. So let's see how the automation tool works. So like you first visually identi identify or recognize the elements seem the automation tools. First it recognize the elements and then perform the desired action. So each and every automation tools works in the two pieces. First it recognize the element on the page and then it perform the required action. So to recognize the element on the web page, each and every automation tool has its own mechanism. If you talk about the QTP, QTP has its own mechanism, same as the Selenium has its own mechanism to recognize that element on the web page. This mechanism and a strategy to recognize the element on the web page is known as the locator in, in aspect of the automation testing and automation tools. Okay guys, so let's see how we explain, the, uh, inspect the element and how we recognize the elements. So if uh, we will talk about the Firefox browser, so let's move on the Firefox browser and we will see. On the Firefox browser, so uh, uh, just to, to, if you want to uh, recognize an element on the Firefox browser or if you want to write the locators of any elements on the Firefox browser, you need to inspect inside the HTML DOM of that element. So how to do inspection inside the HTML DOM? Let's see. So let's see, this one is the our HTML. If you want to see the HTML code, we have the two approach. First, we can use the development tools or second, in the Firefox, you can use Firebug. Okay, so first, let's see how to open the HTML DOM. So to open the HTML DOM or content, just do the right click on the page. Okay. Uh, yeah, and is go at inspect element. So now you can see that HTML is the HTML component is over here. And if you over hover on this element, it's HTML. It will show its HTML components. So, so what all the uh, attribute and values these elements have? Okay. So in the Firefox, we have also one another plugins that is the Firebug. So to see, you can also see that uh, elements in the Firebug and properties of the element in the Firebug. So to see that, just go and right click and again uh, select inspect element with Firebug. Okay, so this one is the more is smarter than the development tool. So if you want to analyze the locators, and properties of the uh, HTML uh, elements for this email and email or text field or for this uh, username text field, then what you need to do, just open this firework and go over on this element and click here. So you can see it is highlighting one co component that is the HTML element. Its attribute name is input and a uh, tag name is input and it's uh, having the attribute ID, class name, class name, text ID, data. These all are the known as the attribute as you know in terms of the HTML. And this is, this is known as tag. Okay, 
so this is the input tag and this this input tag has these all attributes and it has specific values okay so same that way if you want to see the password just click again and go and over the password it will show this firework plug plugin will show you the html uh, component for respective to this uh, password text field so here you can see it has the input id password class input text and same attribute pass okay guys so let's move so just we saw how to um, inspect the element in the uh, firefox browser so let's see uh, how what did all the different possibilities we have in the selenium to identify the a web elements so in the selenium we have uh, these many different possibilities so first one is the by id okay so if you want to allocate a web element by its id then you need to write the java code the driver dot find element and here you inside the uh, this uh, you need to pass the argument by dot id and just here you need to pass the value of this id okay same as guys if you want we have another possibilities to identify the web element that is the class name and next one is the name and link and again the next one is the css selector tag name and xpath okay guys so let's see if we want to identify the any element by its id what you need to do just you need to write the, that much code and you need to change this one value so what value you will put over here so let's go here and if you let's see here we have id for this input text field just you need to copy this one a string okay and pass this one a string to this uh, in, in, in remove this element id and pass that string over here so same as if the element have that the class name just take the class name value and pass that class name value here same as if the element have the unique name take that unique name value and pass it here if the element has the text text take that text and pass this here so guys we will see what is the appropriate and best way to element a to allocate individual element in the selenium so we will see this in our subsequent tutorial so so up to this in this tutorial our agenda is to let you know what all the possibility we have to element allocate a web element on the web page so here we have the we can allocate the element by its uh, elements id by its elements class name by elements name by the link and link text and by the partial link text either or by the css selector or by the tag name or by the export okay guys so i think you are clear with uh, this uh, different possibilities to identify elements uh, in selenium so let's recap it so already we have uh, discussed about the uh, what is the allocate locator and how to inspect the elements in a browser so i have show you how to inspect the elements in the firefox browser so to inspect the elements in the firefox browser either you can inspect that element by using the development tool and or you by using the firefox uh, firewall so next is different possibility to identify in the element so already i show you you can identify a, any web elements by using its id name class name tag name link partial link css selector and xpath okay guys so thank you thank you so much uh, subscribe automation point channel to keep getting automation update thank you once again guys